seventh grade B class. Uh, my parents, obviously I was born in Eritrea and came to the United States. And they told us you have this opportunity that we didn't have, your uncles didn't have, or your cousins didn't have. So optimize this opportunity and do the best you can. They expected A or B in our classes, not the R and F. So basically, when the coach in seventh grade said, if you run hard, you're going to get A or B. And if you, I see you go for a run, you're going to get DRF. Well, I don't want to get DRF. So I just ran as hard as I can in the mile, and I ran at 5.20. Five minutes and 20 seconds. And as a seventh grader, if you ran 6.15, you get your A, you get your pictures on the gym, and you get a shirt that says Roosevelt Junior High My Club. How it started for me, and uh, the rest is history because he called the high school coach right away and said, We have a loop in here. But through a hard work and perseverance and having good mentors, I uh, was able to make my first Olympic team in 2000. But many my classmates and teammates always wrote on my yearbook, See the Olympic Sea with medals. So a lot of people had vision of me being successful, but for me, my main focus at the time was to be a good student, and when UCLA graduated from UCLA, then I gave a running complete free and 110% concentration. In 2004, I became a silver medalist, and you know, 2001, before that, I became an American record holder in 10K. And, you know, in 2008, unfortunately, I didn't make it to the, to the Olympics because of the pelvis stretch fracture, but I never gave up on my dream. The people that were around me never gave up on me, and uh, 2009, I became the New York City Marathon Champion. And then that's when I was introduced a couple weeks before. That's when I was hearing the generation you can, generation you can. And I'm like, I just won the New York City Marathon. And I know I can. So the name Generation You Can was very appropriate. And, you know, 2012 uh, is the way I wanted to go out and be able to make my third Olympic team. And I was fortunate enough to, you know, run a PR in New York. Run PR at the Houston Trials and win the trials, and I was up for my third Olympic team. And I'm, maybe many of you might have seen it. I was uh, I was 19 at one point, but through not giving up and setting goals mile by mile, I was, uh, was able to overcome a lot of obstacles and finish fourth to represent our country at uh, the Olympic Games uh, eight years later than, than uh, when I was a silver medalist. Now, here I am.